for some reason, because I wasn't speaking on anything, y'all thought that y'all could keep using it as a drag, as a diss. And, and you know, you put out this record called Hiss. Could you could you tell Hiss. us what the name means, first of all? Um, Basically, you know, when a snake feel like you've been playing and like doing a whole bunch of swaying. Hey Baldies, it's your girl Naya from That's So Bold and welcome back to another video. Now today, we are diving deep into the drama of the female rap scene. So grab y'all snacks, get comfy, you know, get whatever you need to do because we about to dive deep into the beef with Nicki Minaj and Megan Stallion. So let's go. Nicki Minaj, the self-proclaimed queen of rap, has been dominating the music industry since 2007. And she's had countless hits and countless collaborations with artists like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Rihanna, Eminem, Kanye West, Dick Ross, Wayne, Drake, you know, Young Money. She's been doing a lot. She's been in this industry for so long and she's collaborated with so many people. <laughs> Now, among the artists that Nicki Minaj has collaborated with is Megan Thee Stallion, and Megan Thee Stallion rose to fame in 2015. Now, in 2013, after Megan's persistent efforts to get in contact with Nicki Minaj, she finally connected with Nicki through Instagram Live, and the two rappers finally joined forces for Megan's hit song, Hot Girl Summer. And personally, I love Hot Girl Summer, because who will how to be? Who got a lot of tea? Who popping like a beat with me? And you know, Megan was like, handle me? Who gon' handle me? Think of here, play here a team you know i play that song okay now this collaboration was monumental for megan the stallion because getting a co-sign from Nicki minaj is like everything for the rap girlies in the rap industry <laughs> Now, of course, this opens a lot of doors and granted access to Nicki Minaj's very loyal fan base, the Barbs. And this track soared to the top, giving Megan Thee Stallion her first number one on the Billboard Rhythmic Airplay chart. Uh, however, and this is so sad to say because great things always come to an end, it was believed that there was tension between Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki because Megan kept trying to get Nicki Minaj to drink. And Nicki was very adamant on not drinking. And you know, Megan Thee Stallion is very known for making people drop the boat. Now, by November of 2019, things did start to shift and Megan Thee Stallion began forming a relationship with the New York rapper Cardi B. Now, that did raise a lot of eyebrows because everybody knows Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, the beef is ongoing feud. You know, it, it's just never ending. New alliance with Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion did seem odd to say the least. Honestly, I personally was not expecting it i didn't think that megan would do that especially when the rumors started happening i didn't believe any of it especially because megan the stallion shaded cardi b on live with Nicki minaj now we gonna fast forward to july of 2020 megan the stallion and cardi b dropped their hit song wow the duo did seem quite inseparable which of course did not go unnoticed by the barbs okay the duo's chemistry in social media posts interviews and you know that just that vibrant jaw-dropping music video of course it did create quite a stir now around this time fans also speculated that Nicki minaj and megan the stallion unfollowed each other on all social media platforms and of course this stirred up the pot causing all these rumors and speculations and here comes the drama now the beef stayed behind the scenes until march of 2023 when Nicki minaj released red ruby the sleeves okay and personally i love red ruby the sleeves too okay because only on the sleeves if the sleeves red ruby the sleeves shinies on my sleeve you want to be shinies you know okay I, lo <laughs> I love the song okay i love all these songs and you know, fans quickly caught that line. I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. Uh oh. Which is a double in Tanjira, referencing the actor's horse incident in 1995, which is also Megan Thee Stallion's birth year. Now, the subtle jab had everybody talking, okay? It was sparking up debates and discussions. It was all over Twitter, all over Instagram. It was everywhere. And you know, Megan Thee Stallion did make some unbothered tweets trying to, you know, show that she wasn't phased by the line. And she continued with her friendship with Cardi B 
and they released their song bongos in september of 2023 now their bond and their collaborative efforts kept the spotlight on them and you know their fans loved it and then in december of 2023 Nicki minaj dropped her highly anticipated pink friday 2 album which broke so many records on billboard apple music spotify the list goes on now the lyrics seem to reignite the feud when Nicki did subtly address the drama and in response megan the stallion did appear to throw shade at Nicki Minaj's achievements, questioning Spotify's relevance, and even suggesting that only teenagers use the platform. Now, in the song Hiss, Megan Thee Stallion did drop a line saying, These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan Law referencing a federal law requiring law enforcement to make information public about registered sex offenders. Now, while this line was primarily aimed at Nicki Minaj, of course it was a diss at her husband, Kenneth Petty, who in April of 1995, he was convicted of attempted rape and required to register as a sex offender. This bold move by Megan Thee Stallion was obviously a really big dig to hit Nicki right where it hurt it. And of course, Nicki Minaj did not stay silent and she responded to Megan on Twitter shedding some light on some personal grievances. So Nikki did take it a step further and hit the booth like a real rapper releasing her trolling song Bigfoot and I know I've been saying that I like every single song in this video but I like this song too okay and this song was filled with very sharp lines and very very direct disses towards Megan Thee Stallion. And even rappers like The Game praised Megan Thee Stallion's response, you know, noting it's a very direct aim at Megan Thee Stallion because it, it was direct. She even tweeted a picture of Megan Thee Stallion and said Bigfoot. You know, I was like, oh wait, when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, wait, Nikki, like hold up, cause we ain't never seen this before, okay? You know, it was just a whole new side. I was just like, wow, like I was so excited. I stayed up just to listen to it, okay? In Bigfoot, Nicki Minaj addressed several rumors about Megan Thee Stallion, even calling her out for being a known liar and alleging that she slept around in the industry and even alluded to Megan Thee Stallion needed to be worried about herself pertaining to Megan's law because she allegedly was humping on a minor. Y'all know what Nikki said. Why the fuck is you humping on a minor? <laughs> The lines were a very clear attempt to tarnish Megan Thee Stallion's reputation and keep the beef alive. And the beef did continue to simmer and both the barbs and the hotties were defending their faves, you know, and eating, even adding more fuel to the fire. And you know, Nicki Minaj's response did keep the tension high, making this one of the most notable female rap, female rap thieves in history. And fans on both sides have been dissecting lyrics, tweets, interviews, and just trying to get to the bottom of their faves beef. And you know, I don't wanna get to the bottom too. I wanna, I wanna know everything, okay? <laughs> now, I wanna know what y'all think about this feud, of course. Are y'all team Megan or are y'all team Nicki? Let me know down in the comments don't forget to like, subscribe, turn the bell on for more deep dives into your favorite music dramas. And until next time, stay tuned. Bye, boys.